If you have a dog, you've likely experienced the heart-wrenching experience when your dog asks for food. We know no human can resist such an endearing look, so you want to help. To ensure a long, happy, and healthy life for your dog, here are some food items to keep on the table and out of your dog's mouth. Welcome to Science Quotidian. Today we're here with a special guest, Master the Husky. Masca is two months shy of being three years old, and to see more of him, you may check out his Instagram account, Masca the Husky. We will put a link in the description below. Perhaps the most well-known of harmful foods not to feed your dog is chocolate, but have you ever wondered why? Chocolate contains an alkaloid called theobromine, which stimulates the central nervous system and cardiovascular system, causing increases in blood pressure. Even small amounts of chocolate can induce vomiting, diarrhea, increased urination, muscle spasm, excessive panting, hyperactivity, dehydration, digestive problems, seizures, and arrhythmia. On a similar tangent, the caffeine found in tea, coffee, and energy drinks can damage the heart, lungs, kidney, and central nervous system. Next off, grapes and raisins. Grapes and raisins likely contain a mycotoxin that causes severe liver damage and kidney failure. Toxicity begins with vomit, loss of appetite, diarrhea, but can lead to coma or even death. Next off, we have macadamia nuts. Although a healthy treat for humans, these nuts contain a toxin that can inhibit locomotory activities, resulting in weakness, panting, swollen limbs, and shrubbers. Next off, we have onions and chives. These vegetables contain disulfides and sulfoxides, which react with the cell membranes of red blood cells, causing the cells to burst. This constitutes abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, and lethargy. Okay, next off, we have xylitol. For those of you who don't know, xylitol is a sugar alcohol found in gum, candies, baked goods, and other artificially sweetened items. It can cause hyperstimulation of the beta cells, leading to an excess release of insulin, ultimately causing low blood sugar, seizures, liver failure, and potentially death. Finally, we have yeast. We all know how yeast releases carbon dioxide to induce the rising of bread. In the same way, it can also expand and rise in your dog's stomach. In mild cases, Yeast ingestion can cause gas and discomfort. In severe cases, rupture of the stomach or intestines may ensue. If your dog ingests any of the above items or any that evokes concern, do not hesitate to call a veterinarian. It is always better safe than sorry and by taking such measures, you could potentially save your dog's life. These are some of the most severely detrimental foods, but to read more which we always encourage, please take a look at these good links in the description. Thank you for watching this Science Quotidian video. Please like and subscribe to this channel for your daily dose of knowledge. We want this to be an interactive channel, so please share your experience with your dog, good or bad. We will love them all. And any tips you may have for dog owners whose dogs accidentally ingest one of these foods. Thanks for watching.